Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Metroid Link to the Past Randomized. Uh, it's time for us to go to the wrecked ship in uh, Super Metroid Land. Can I please get up this? I know what you're thinking. Clown, you have the space jump. Why don't you use it? Well, frankly, wall jumping is a little bit faster. Uh, especially since I'm so bad at space jumping. So anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna go fight Phantom. Phantom has been eluding us for far too long, so we're gonna go deal with him the only way we know how. Uh, by killing him with extreme prejudice, because we don't like ghosts up in here. Ghosts need to be eradicated. Speaking of eradication, we need to see what's going on in here. Some super missiles. You know what? I'll take them. I will definitely, definitively, absolutely, and gloriously take them. You know that's right. Um, actually, I'm gonna check something up here real quick. That's the fire rod! Oh my god, that opens up so many possibilities. That opens up all the possibilities. What else do you think we're gonna get in here? Like, this is exciting. This means we can actually go back to A Link to the Past. Because if there's one thing that I don't like about playing A Link to the Past, uh, the randomizers, I mean, it's that there's all, there's, you have to do so many dungeons. Like, the, the fun part is the beginning when you're just like trying to find everything. But after a while, you just end up, you know, just roaming around doing dungeons, and that's about it. So, what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to go back to A Link to the Past. We're going to clear whatever dungeons we can with what we got, and then come back to Super Metroid to do some stuff. We're going to try and break up A Link to the Past as much as we possibly can. Come on. I'm trying my best, Fantoon. So, you might be wondering, hey clown, why aren't you using your super missiles? You got like 32 of them. Good question. Uh, if I used a super missile, Fantoon here, he would go a little berserk. He would be much harder to kill. He would be doing more damage to me. He would be moving around faster. It's just, it's just not a fun time for anybody involved, except for maybe you, the viewer. And I think maybe he's at around the right health for a super missile to finish him off. Uh, but I'm not going to hit him with one quite yet. Oh, it was... It wasn't enough! Crap. See, he does this crap, and it's so hard to avoid. All right, Fantoon. Now you get yours. I knew I was a little early on the super. All right, that's it. He's dead. I remember there was a time when I didn't know how to fight Fantoon very well, and I always dreaded fighting him. Now it's just like, I know what to do. I know how to deal with this. It ain't no thing. I'm Luigi. I can handle it. Let me tell you, I'm really glad that I have the plasma beam going up into this. Because, oh man, if I didn't, we'd be having a bad time all around, I tell you what. Plasma beam just makes killing all of the things in this place just so much better. Or so much easier. Some good old super missiles. Heck yeah. Let, let's go. It's -a me, Luigi. Got him. 50 bucks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank goodness for speed boosts or damage boosts. That felt good. It feels good to, like, understand how the damage boost works now. Just some stinky missiles. Come on, dude. You gotta give me a little more than that. It's not what I need. Look, here's what I'll take. I'll take some... I'll take energy tanks at this point. That'd be pretty good. Um, uh, Varius suit. Probably, uh, hopefully pronounced a little better than what I just did. Uh, speed booster. would be pretty good. Screw attack. Uh, unnecessary, but, you know, I would accept it. 
charge beam. Now there's something that I could really, really get some mileage out of. Half magic for A Link to the Past, that'd be pretty great. Uh, let's see. The bow. The bow would be quite poggers. Quite poggers indeed. And uh, last but not least, how about a freaking sword, you know? Link has been going on for too long without the ability to actually <laughs> be uh, aggressive. And I think he could use a bit of a break, you know? Like, what's a boy without a sword? Impotent, that's what. A boy needs a sword. Hell, I had a sword when I was growing up. And I look at how I turned out. Shooting these guys with super missiles? Like it ain't no thing. Because you know what? It ain't no thing. Because I grew up with a sword. My parents loved me. <laughs> Alright. What do you got for me in here? This is the most obnoxious room in the game. That's a bit of a lie. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of an embellishment, if you will. 20 bucks! No. I'm just gonna leave it on the ground. I'm too good for you. Now what do we have here? <gasps> it's the... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Son of a dingus. <laughs> I got it! It's the Bombos Medallion! Heck yeah, brother. What is this? Super Missile Block. Gimme my freaking rod. What's a man without a rod? Look, my parents gave me a rod when I was growing up and I turned out fine. All right, here we go. We're gonna do our, uh, our classic um, Chozo walk, Chozo statue walk, you know, you know how it goes. Mamma mia. <laughs> Let's go down the stairs, down the stairs we go. This is my bowling alley, rap, it's bad. Oh yeah. Five dollars. Man, normally this is the gravity suit. You give me five bucks. You give me a frankly very insulting amount of cash. Like I think that's, I don't think you can even get anything less. Let's get out of here, fellas. Mamma mia. So we have Fantoon destroyed. We have a fire rod, which we have forgotten to mark. We have the Bamos medallion, which we also have forgotten to mark. We are looking good, ladies and gentlemen. With these, we can do other things in A Link to the Past. With all of this collected, it is finally time for us to go back to A Link to the Past. I know we've spent a lot of time there, but... Other than collecting a bunch of items, nothing was truly accomplished. And I, the hero of time, I intend to change that. Because I'm tired of having no bosses defeated in such a game. Let's go, Luigi. Here we go. We're going back to the past. A link to the past. I still don't have a sword. It makes this a little bit awkward. But you know what? It's not so bad. I've grown accustomed to the lack of offensive capabilities that I have. And by golly, I've made it look good. I tell you what, I've made it look downright, dare I say, desirable. Yeah. No? Hmm. My bad. Regardless, uh, we have things to do here. Um, first things first. I'm gonna tell you all the words inside my head. Uh, I'm going to dig. Have magic! That's a pretty good find. Don't turn off the items you have. That's a dumb thing. Alright, that was... That was alright. We don't need it. Not really, anyway. But... <laughs> It's definitely gonna help us. Especially considering I'm not particularly great at fighting some of the bosses that need the magic. And I don't have any green potion on my side at the moment. So, uh, anything, anything that helps certainly does. Yeah, anything that helps certainly does. And now, finally, we're gonna have the capability to fly like an eagle. To the sea, fly like an eagle, just as happy as can be. All right, what are we gonna do with our newfound glory? 
Um, we still don't have a bow, but we have a source of light. So let's go. We can also go to um, we can go to the forest temple in the dark world. That's gonna be pretty good as well. We have a lamp. This just in. Not all randomizers are created the same. Um, crap. Do a bit of crap. So in some randomizers, here's where my confusion lies. In some randomizers, you have the, like, in some randomizers, they let you, uh, they let the, the fire rod act as a source of light. Um, apparently, in this one, uh, the fire rod does not act as a source of light, so I definitely still need the lamp. <laughs> I forgot how stupid those looked. Alright, now what are we gonna do? My plans have been totally, completely dashed by the wayside. I still can't see in the dark, so I can't go into, um, the forest temple. I could finish... Tower of Hera, but that's not really that important at the moment. It's just too much of a pain without an actual sward. You know what I'm saying? I could go into the Dark World, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Kakariko Village. We're gonna go into the Dark World. And I could... I'm pretty sure I could finish Thieves Town. So... We can at least get something done. Kakariko! I can't go this way. Do I dare finish Thieves Town? Find out next minute on A Link to the Past. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Ten arrows. Well, at least that's a ten arrows that's outside of the pool now. Um, oh man. I got bunnied. Die. Die, skeleton. Oh, not the bunny, Ray. Actually, I kind of want to see what the bunny looks like for Saitama. Check it out. Let's check it out. Who is this? Leave your answer in the comment section below. I feel so embarrassingly lost at the moment. Like, where do I go? Not this way. This is the Hell's Highway. Ah, uh, this is the worst place in existence! Get me out of here! Why does that hurt so much? Get out of here. I'll take that. I don't remember what it needs to be on, but I guess we'll figure it out. Duh! Uh-oh. Yeah, see you later. Looks like we gotta... Looks like we gotta tempt fate here. By tempt fate, I mean... Cheese our way out. <laughs> Suckers. I do not have much health left. Open that door. Give me that magic. Give me those bombs. Uh, and I believe the hookshot's gonna be our weapon of choice here. Heck yeah, dude. Suck it! Double suck it, dude. Oh, handy. One more of those and we get another heart container. Well, there we go. That's our, uh, that's our boss activated. Well, I mean, not the boss activated, not quite yet, but that's, that's part one. Part two comes a little bit later. Gotta be a little bit more patient than that, my friends. I don't got no time for your shenanigans. Eh. How do I defeat you? How do I defeat you? You guys are not being kind to me right now. You know what? Just say no, kids. Just say no. I'm out of here. I don't need this. Do -do 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 -do. We have the boss key, which means we can definitely open... Get out of here. Uh, we can definitely open the big boy chest. Oh no. This is the wrong room. You 
walked into the wrong neighborhood. I didn't mean to! <laughs> no! No! I wanted the fairy! I wanted it! I actually expect this to either be a compass or a bomb, or, or a map, and it was the compass, so great. You know what? I forgot to check something very important regarding this, uh, this whole dungeon. May not even be required. Quick. Drink, 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 drink. Alright, this is gonna be a bomb. No, that was the quake medallion. There's Bombos, Quake, and something else that I cannot remember the name of. Do 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 Burning Righteous Fire Maiden! <laughs> the chimney sweep wore a suit and tie. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god, stop dodging! That does not do anything. Great. Oh my god. Whoa! Uh oh. No! Alright, well. We can come back when we have a sword. It's fine. And now at least we can check. Alright, it is required. That's good. Swamp's not required. I think the next best thing for us to do is go into the... the forest temple. So we have everything that's required to beat it. Um, unfortunately, it's one of it's one of the the maps that I know the least. I'm so bad at the Forest Temple. I'm like hilariously bad at it. I'm gonna be so lost. But at least we have the Thieves Tem uh, Thieves Town done, so we can uh, we can go back into there later. Don't you steal my freaking shield! I love this music so much. Listen to it. Listen to it banging, dude. It's so epic. So there is a item up there. That's the wave beam. Hmm. I believe that's going to be worth going out of our way to, you know, give the old grabby to, you know? Peace! How do I navigate this place? This place sucks. What even are these? I haven't even given thought to it, but what are they? Are, what are they slimes? Are they rogue vegetation? I don't... I don't understand what they're supposed to be. <laughs> What's over here? You take two hits? What a disastrous turn of events. I'm not going to there. I don't need to go in there. Let's go, Saitama. We got better places to be. Imagine using a hammer as your main weapon for like hours on end. I don't have a key or anything. You know what? Let's just... Let's go this way. Goodbye! I know there's a... Uh, there's normally a key... Actually, this is how you get to, um... I think this isn't how you normally... ...get to the big chest. Hmm. Big chest ahead. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Funny joke! I do not have big key. Why am I coming here? I have small key. I will use it to open door which did not probably need to be open. Why is my bomb selected? Did I do that? You have so much health. Get out of here. A hand wall master. Wall hand man. Man handler. Man handler. Um. Hmm. That 
does nothing. Bird. Oh, that's the way to kill him. Got another key. What do we got? Uh, just a stinky map. Just a stinky map. Just a stinky map. Who's a stinky map? You're a stinky map. Can you stop following me? It's just plain. Oh my god, you have got so much health. Way too much, some would even say. Well, uh, I guess this is the part of the dungeon that's completely separated from the rest of the dungeon. So... With that in mind, guys, I give this game my completionist rating of... Finipedic. Alright, we come in here. This will give us some new horizons to explore. Hopefully the manhandler doesn't come down and destroy our face. All right, what's over here? I don't remember. Boo 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 boo. Ah! Jerk. Sure. Oh wait, 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 wait. Boom! Let's go. That's what we call a sick sequence break, bro. Ah! Is there even anything in here for me? There's literally nothing in here? I used a key on this crap. Alright, we've got a little bit of rudimentary puzzle solving here. And by rudimentary, I mean it. Get out of here. What? Yeah, get on there. Where are you going, dude? Too much health. Oh, it's a fairy. Thank you. Not super necessary, but you know what? It's appreciated nonetheless. Nonetheless. Hello. Hello. We got ourselves a thing. All right, where does this go? I don't remember. I don't remember a lot. Like, this is, this is the dungeon that just refuses to put itself into my brain. This better be a key. It's magic. Uh-oh, it's magic. And you know... Well, that was utterly worthless. Beepa! Beepa! I don't think I could finish this dungeon, actually. I think I need a sword. Because there's, uh, there's a portion of a room where I have to break down the curtains or what's supposed to be curtains. And I don't think that that is possible uh, without a sword. So we're gonna have to see whether or not, that's gotta be a key, right? Maybe this is the key to victory. Maybe somewhere up in this yonder room, I will find the key to success. Now, whether or not I've already gathered the goodies from this place is remaining to be seen. What am I missing? How am I so lost? How? How could I have been so blind? I'm definitely missing something important. 70 years later. Oh my god. There was a key there the whole freaking time, dude. How did I miss that? I've been wandering around for like 15 minutes trying to figure out where to go, what to do. I knew I was missing something dumb and important. I just went around picking up every single pot I could find, going back in every single door that I thought I went into. And it just turned out to be that one little pot that I forgot happened to have a key inside of it. Great. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> that could have been dangerous. Luckily, I can actually go back and finish the Desert Palace too. Because I have a way to light the way. You know what I say? Oh, uh, eh. I, this is where I um, 
This is where I'm done. This is where I can do nothing else. Turns out... <sighs> you know, I, can, I can't go through here anyway, because I need to be able to cut down those freaking things. Ugh. Well... That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So now I'm left with the question, since I can't finish this palace because I don't have a sword, what can I do? It's the age-old question. I don't want to be stuck like doing all of the Link to the Past stuff at the same time. I want to I want to be able to go back and forth to be able to weave to and fro and to and fro and to and fro and to and fro. You know, just weave. But if that's just not in the cards, then I don't know. I don't know, man. I was looking at my items in Super Metroid with five energy tanks. I'm pretty convinced that it wants me to do a hell run. I really don't want to do that. That feels like a very dangerous proposition. And I, um, I don't feel too confident in my ability for that specific situation. For 20 rupees, you'll tell me something. With crystals 5 and 6, you can find a great fairy in Pyramid. I already know that, Wizzle Flip Flop. I was trying to get one of those crystals, but I don't have the freaking key. Which is a sword. Uh, there is something that I can do here, though. Bees, can you just, like, not be a bee? That doesn't even hurt me. It just gets in my way. I get a zero damage. Stop it. I think it actually did damage to me. <laughs> so here's what we do. We got a couple of places to go. Unfortunately, I have kind of used up my magic a little bit. All right, energy tank. That'll prep us for the uh, upcoming hell run. Scooby doo 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 doo. All right, next thing's next. We go up into that cave via mirror. I've used up so much of my magic though. I thought one of these caves was supposed to be the spike maze. Have I been confused? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Varia suit. Well, that's big. Um, we still don't have a sword, but we have pretty much almost everything we need to beat. Super Metroid. <laughs> I've done so much in this game, and I, I'm just unable to move past anything. It's so frustrating, but at the same time, this is what I signed up for, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Wait a minute. I have more places to check. Let's go there. Uh, we're gonna go through Kakariko Village, ladies and gentlemen. Kakariko Village. Or, uh, you know, uh, let me, let me correct you there. We're gonna go through uh, the Dark World version of Kakariko Village. I'm gonna go through the Dark World version... Uh, is there something in this house? Yes. Every once in a while, your memory, like, you know, it, it, it just, it just pops open. Your memory just pops open like a pinata and something bursts out and that's what that was that moment I uh, think I thought that was that house a while ago couldn't have been more wrong fellas couldn't have been more wrong all right so there's gonna be an item that we can grab here we've already gotten the dig item so let us go I think we just talked to this guy. Didn't- no wait, I already talked to this guy. Yeah, he's a tree now. I've already talked to this guy. Why am I here? I'm wasting my time. They didn't even see me. What are they, dumb? I think they're dumb. <laughs> Piece of heart. Well, with that, I think I'm officially out of convenient things to do in the light world. I'm looking at the map. There's not a lot. There's not a lot. I can't go into Crystal 5 without having the lamp, and I can't clear the Forest Temple, aka Crystal 6, without having the sword. So, 
I don't know, maybe there is a way to get through without a sword, but I, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to clear the stuff without a sword. So, without it, I guess I'm just, for the moment, stuck? Well, I'm not stuck. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 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 I'm gonna go back. All right, I'm thinking real hard about this thing. We have two options. We can A, we can A, go to Meridia and fight Dragon via the Dark World portal in the south east part of the Link to the Past map. That'll take us to Meridia, and from there, we'd be able to go and fight Dragon. However, that's not gonna get us very many items. It'll get us Dragon, but it won't get us very many items. The other option... The other option is to fly back to Death Mountain, go back to Norfair, and from there, what we do is we do a Hell Run. We have six energy tanks, which should be more than enough to get us past, and I really don't think we won't be able to find a sword when we come through here. Like, what else is there left? There's not much, dude. And because I have... Um, because I have Space Jump, because I have Plasma Beam, because I have so many good things, doing the Hell Run is not going to be too much of an issue. But we're going to have to save that for the next episode because we're tapped out for this one. I've been recording, excuse me, for an hour and ten minutes. DJ, my editor's probably cut it down to about half an hour or something because, you know... I wander around and I do stuff that doesn't make any sense or is just completely useless, like wandering around the forest temple for about 15 minutes trying to figure out what to do, only to find out that there was a key hidden in a skull and then I just can't go forward because I don't have a sword. It's just the way things go. It's the way the cookie crumbles. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.